guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Today we're going to talk another one, another article I've got. Men refuse to show up for a dating event. Wow, shocking, stunning, brave. Why are men not showing up for dating events? I'll tell you why. Because women are entitled, they're narcissistic, they pretty, and the general vibe of women today is we hate men. We hate men, they're only good for money and or sleeping with if they're good looking. And ladies, you've told us this for so long that it has seeped into our pores. We get it. We got it. We see it in the news. We see it in the movies. We see it in commercials. We get that you think we're nothing. Do you think we're going to show up to a dating uh, event and try to put ourselves out to get your attention just to have you crap on us or make fun of us? No, we're out. We heard you loud and clear or feminisms, feminists, we've heard you, we're out. From the Daily Dot, woman goes to singles mixer, only women show up sparking a debate. There is no debate. There's no debate to be had. And they show up a picture here that looks like on the right here is looks like 10 or 15 women. A couple of them are talking, chatting with others. The other are on their phones. And this looks like, I don't know what area this is in, but it looks like uh, a lot of mocha ladies, a lot of ladies with the lovely uh, mocha skin. So um, maybe a lot of the, the brothers are like, you know what, man, I, I know how this turns out. I'm not, I'm not showing up for this. Uh, she says, somebody literally created a space where men can approach women that want to be approached and men saw that as strange. No, 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 sweetheart. Men didn't see it as strange. Men saw it as a waste of their time. You guys can, can gussy yourselves up and spread yourselves out and say, look at us, pretty as a picture. We're just these sweet, lovely flowers. Come like a bumblebee to try to get our, our, our attention. Come entertain us. Come validate yourself to us, and we will decide if you're good enough for us. And men were like, nope, I'm out. That's not strange. Men didn't see it as strange. They see you as not worth their time anymore. You've made it clear how you feel about men. And for those ladies that feel differently and are like, I, but I love men. Men are awesome. Men are great. But you're so quiet and you're such a small part of the community and society now that you, you're, not, you're now like men. We don't listen to you anymore. The men that come out and say, uh, men are not toxic, we're, we're strong, we're wonderful, we be belong in this society, we're awesome, shut up. And now the only women that you hear from are, oh, stunning and, oh, stunning and brave, women, women are so much better than men, we don't even need men. Where are all the men? You can't make this up. This is just from June 20, uh, 2022, so just like a week and a half ago. A discussion to singles mixers and modern dating dynamics has taken shape on TikTok. That's why no men showed up, by the way, if you put it on TikTok. No real men are going to show up. After a woman filmed herself in a mixer that she claimed only women showed up to. <laughs> <laughs> of course. In her video, Danny D. Too Cute. Let's just put some thumbtacks in this as we go. You called yourself too cute. If I called myself too hands Johnny too handsome, people would be like, that guy's a narcissistic douche. But you call yourself Danny D too cute? Okay, well, you're too cute for me. Will pass, thank you. Uh, shows the event that was intended to be attended by both men and women. It was lacking in the former, yeah. Single forever in the video, which was viewed ve nearly half a million times as captioned. Uh, and, and her tags here, she is, she's so pretty. See, when you walk around and you're like, I'm beautiful, I am special, I am wonderful, men are lucky to meet me. Men are like, nope, nope. Some commenters were critical of events like these that are geared toward providing a forum for available men and women to meet. Whoa, you think I'm a show up uh, to something? Y'all gonna criticize me from the time I walk in, i.e. what I drove, wore, talk, eight, et cetera, one commenter wrote. And he's exactly right. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Guys know they're going to pull up in a car, get out, and right then the women are going to know if they're interested or not. 
what he what he drove up in, what he wore, how tall he is, what he looks like, what he eats, how he eats, what his common conversation is about. They're like, no, I, I know how this game goes. Not going to waste my time. Not going to waste my time. Five bros could have walked in and the women would have went judging them from head to toe, another said. Uh, someone else says, I mean, y'all said y'all have fun without us and y'all don't dress up for us. So mingle with the single, a commenter wrote. And again, I agree. These are the messages women have pushed now for years. And men are like, I hear you. I got you. I got you. And 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 if you look at the, the video up here, like the ladies are dressed nice. I mean, they, uh, you know, they... I think this is acceptable. It's not like they're out in sweatpants and like they did their makeup and they've got clothes on. So they don't they don't they didn't show up with the sweatpants and their hair up in a in a bun or something or other. But but you see, these are coming from men that didn't show up. So obviously they don't know what they what the women looked like, but he's making an assumption. He's making an assumption and he's right, actually. He's like, you're just gonna judge us and you're not even putting in any any effort. Uh, others, however, were critical of the way many men responded to the video. Now, here's the thing. You can be critical of the way men are responding, but, but, this is a shocker. If this is how men are responding, this is how men feel. And if this is how men feel, maybe you might want to, mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Listen to them instead of criticizing them further. Because if, if I say, look, I know I'm going to pull up in my car, and I'm going to get out, and you're going to say, his ride's not that fancy, and his clothes aren't that great. I mean, half the time I'm in a wrinkled T-shirt. I literally pull them out of a basket and put them on. I don't care. I just don't care. Now, if I'm going out in public or on a date or something, sure, I, I clean up a little bit. But if I'm just doing videos, and you guys like, and, and some of you commented on one of my videos, it's like, dude, bump into an iron. I don't, I just don't care. I, I don't care. But the point being, Men know this. Men know how you're going to react, and, and you've been doing it for a long time. Uh, someone says, all these men judging these women like they know these women personally. One commenter wrote, why are y'all so, so quick to rejoice at single women? Kind of sus. Be because those men have heard from women like this. And TV commercials and movies and women are stunning and brave, strong, can do anything they want. They're God's gift and men need to be lucky to have them. So when guys are like, nah, I, I don't think so. Men aren't saying they know women person, these women personally. They're so, saying we know what gen, women in general today are like. No, thank you. Someone else says, we, the comments, a commenter wrote, why are y'all projecting uh, all these things onto these women y'all don't even know? Because now we are going, you've painted men with a very broad brush. We're, we're toxic, we're bad, we're stupid, we're oafish, we're lazy, we're not tall enough, we're not six pack enough, we're not hung enough, whatever. We've heard you. And so what are men going to do? Broad brush. Nope to women. Not worth my time to women. That's what, and if you say that's unfair, hey, you know what? I bet the guy that's five foot eight, that works really hard, that is smart, but may not have a college degree, but is still smart, who still busts his, his ass at work 12 hours a day, who might have a small, nice little house, decent running car, but that guy might have a great personality. He might be, I don't know, really attentive. He might really care for a woman. He's invisible to women. So guess what, ladies? You're invisible to men now, all of you, except for thirsty simps. Someone else says, it's the comments for me, LOL. Another commenter wrote, they should, they should, this shouldn't have triggered y'all's emotions the way it did, LOL. See, again, it, men, it is your fault for being critical of us, for making fun of you and giving you a hard time for years. I know we've done that, but we're going to be critical on you for doing it. How dare you judge me? Where's my Greta? Oh, no, I'm on the wrong page. Where's my Greta? How dare you? How dare you judge us after we've been judging you for the last several years? Uh, this video was eventually stitched by a popular content creator, blah, 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 who found it odd that men were making a space or mocking a space created for them to meet available women. Again, we don't care. We don't care. Uh, he, and of course, this guy who is just sucking at the teat of simp. 
this went viral on Twitter and it got me thinking about something I already knew and put it in a different perspective for me, he says. Because men were in the comments saying, oh, this is weird, strange, looks desperate. And what's wild to me is that somebody literally created a space where men can approach women that wanted to be approached and talk to women that want to be talked to and men saw that as strange. Uh, so I guess that quote's coming from the dude. No, dude, it's not strange. These are men paying attention to what's going on in society and they're like, nope, pass. He concludes that in his opinion, men think any women outside of a home is available, calling it entitlement. What? He concludes that in his opinion, men think any woman outside of a home is available, calling it entitlement. Entitlement. No. If men thought any woman outside of a home, I guess, is available and, and they're entitled, then they'd think that they could go to a dating mixer and have even more luck. So obviously his opinion's stupid. Viewers applauded him. Oh yes, let, stunning and brave, everybody. Stunning and brave. Arguing, you sound like you actually listen to women or simply has some decent critical thinking skills to see the big picture. And then he furiously masturbated to all the love and attention he got online. And then he laid down in his bed and cried himself to sleep alone. <laughs> uh, why would... Now, this is another quote. Why would men meet us halfway when they can approach us when we can't escape? Now, you're shame-blaming men. One woman sarcastically said, like when we are at work or pumping gas, happened to me Monday. See, now this, and again, this message resonates when out. Let's, if you read that comment right there, what she's saying is, I was pumping gas doing just everyday thing and a guy thought I was interesting and good-looking enough to come and take his shot at me. That's how we men would see it. He's like, ah, man, she was pumping gas. I took my shot. What does she say? What does she say? When we can't escape. I was trapped. I was cornered. And this awful man came over to give me attention and say he thought I was good-looking and ask me on a date. How dare you? How dare you? Shame on you, sir. And so a guy sees this and he's like, I don't want to meet a woman that, that talks like that. They say, if men aren't breaking a woman's boundaries, it doesn't feel right to him, another claimed. So now because all that men did in this scenario is didn't show up. They said, no, thank you, not interested. And what is the result? They're now shaming the men. And this is why the men don't show up. If men aren't breaking a woman's boundaries, it doesn't feel right to them. Let's shame them. Oh, a guy came up and talked to me at a gas station, not at this specialized event that I wanted them to come to. And, 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 men, and men, you know what? Men see this kind of response, and you know what men say? Whew. Glad I didn't go. Glad I didn't talk to these women. Glad I don't deal with women like this on a normal basis. Non-consent attracts them more than a consenting space, another said. Nope, we're out. Nope. Uh, Pierre blah, blah, blah has nearly 100,000 followers on the platform, and his stitched uh, video was viewed 1.6 million times. And that is why he suckles at the teat of these pandering to these women. He got all these views and these likes, and his phone rang zero times. And for all his virtue signaling and his uh, uh, trying to protect women, he got laid zero times out of this. Guarantee it, 100%. Unless he's probably into big, blue-haired girls. Uh, update. Oh, we have an update. In a Zoom interview with a Daily Dot user, this guy, an author who works at a, uh, at a household harm shelter, urged male viewers to think about how the patriarchy plays a role in their approach towards women. The patriarchy is a real thing, he said. It does harm to men as much as the women. It was to understand and understand that if a person isn't rejecting you or saying no to you for whatever reason, take that for what it is, just a rejection. It's not saying you're a bad person or you're a ter per terrible person. It's just the person doesn't want you. Okay. Captain Idiot, listen to your own words and now put that from the men's view. What the men are saying is 
we aren't rejecting you. We're not saying no to you. Take it for what it is. It's just a rejection of showing up. We're not saying you're bad people. We're not saying you're terrible people. It's just we don't want you. That's his word to men. But this is men's words to women. Men didn't show up because it was a safe space where they can meet the women and they want to have, I don't know, aggressive, bad places to meet women. We're not like that. The easier you make it for most men to ask women out, the better we like it. We didn't show up because it was a safe space. We didn't show up because it was a place that was available and where the women were interested. We didn't show up as men in whole because just like you say, we don't want you. We're not interested in you. And that doesn't mean we, we're not interested in women as a whole. It doesn't mean that maybe occasionally a guy won't take a shot or ask a woman out. What he's saying is, in general, as a whole, men don't want this BS from women anymore. Men are not interested in women anymore. We're good. Thank you. And it doesn't mean they won't date. But it, it, doesn't, it does mean we're not going to be going out of our way, going to events and all this other stuff. The creator notes he's been making similar content for years. Of course. So, of course. Who cares what the rest of this idiot says? You, you get the point of what type of person he is. He's a, oh, I'm stunning, and, I'm stunning and brave. Women love me. Please pay attention to me. I'm your friend. I'm your ally. I'm here for you, ladies. And those ladies like, don't care. We don't want you. You're weak. You're effeminate. You're an ally. I just see you as a friend. Who do they want? They want the rugged, strong, independent, strong-willed, and strong-minded man that's on his own path. And a guy that's on his own path, a guy that's really, really worth his salt, a guy that's really worth something, he's not going to these events. That's why they're salty. Their feelings are hurt that, that the quality men didn't go to this, that no men went to this. It makes them feel worthless. It makes them feel unwanted. It makes them feel undesired. That's why they're lashing out, now calling the men names because they, their feelings got hurt. Uh, guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below as always. If you have, thank you very much. Best way, way you can support me is like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, I've got the join button down below if you want to become a supporting member of the community. I will be putting out some uh, videos that are for supporters only. Same thing over on betterbachelor.locals.com. More supported content coming for you soon. Mm -hmm.